The following is an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network. Here's a pass across the middle to a wide open Jazz King on the flare across the middle. He'll get all the way to the 30, maybe the 31. And Jazz King with his 24th catch of the year. That'll give him 240 yards on the season. And the Eagles get their first first down of the game on second down and 10. And Wilson will stand at the 40. And Tilkey gets off a wobbler. That hit a foot! That hit a foot, it'll be Eagle football. It should be, I didn't see the fumble. That the hit marker. a foot of a Bethune-Cookman player. I didn't see the marker come out that there was a fumble though. Oh yeah, And that's yeah, supposed yeah, to be Eagle did. football. Yeah, that did. hit a foot and the Eagles will have it at the 50 yard line. Yeah, it did. That hit the, I think that hit Drexler Dixon in the back. Had some issues with the time. First play is a handoff to Deontay Wright. He Ooh. sneaks through to the 15, 20, all the way to the 25-yard line. Biggest run of the day for the Maroon and Gray of 19 yards, and that gets the Eagles out with their backs from the end zone, and that's the big first down for North Carolina Central. Yeah, I like that. That's the first time we've seen a little bit of a fullback in a game as Kevin Staten has checked in at fullback. Bell again, another handoff to Wright. Wright sneaking his way through 30, 35, 40, all the way to midfield where he's finally brought down. Big run by Deontay Wright. He has two plays, 43 yards for the Eagles. Yeah, that's a nice job by Wright, and I like how he's protecting the ball down the field, and they were trying to tackle the football. He realized that he kept it high and tight and was able to get away with it. To Wright. Here's Bell. Play action. Has a man down the middle. Open is Atkinson. He's at the 30, 25, 20. It's a race to the 10, 5. Touchdown, North Carolina Central. That's Quinn Atkinson, 50 yards out. And the Eagles have tied a, have a chance to tie the game up here with an extra point as Atkinson, his fourth touchdown of the season. Yeah, nice execution that time. And that's what I like to see when you set it up with the two plays before. They were able to get positive yards. Self. Line to gain is the four. Bell, time to throw, has it across the middle to Hasek. He's inside the 10, breaks a tackle inside the five. They mark him down on the left hash at the three yard line. First down, NCCU. Yeah, they switched it up and got out of cover zero. I think they realized they were man to man and with all the speed we have, it would be easy pickings on the pass play. So they came back and got in cover two. Nice adjustment by Hasek on the slant route as he's able to make the catch. As Malcolm Bell handed off to Andre Clark, bus forward. Three, two, one, give him six. Andre Clark with a touchdown to give the Eagles the 13 to seven lead his 11th touchdown of the season. And the Eagles have taken the lead here in Daytona. Nice job that time on the run play. Nothing fancy, just lining up, getting downhill, playing smash mouth football. I think that's Jordan. It's in the backfield for Bethune Cookman. Here's Brim going to run with it, and he will get the first down of the 35 all the way to the 40. Hit from behind, fumbles. It's loose on the turf. Who's got it? I think the Eagles have it. Let's see who's got it as he was hit from behind, and the Eagles have the football. They forced the turnover at the 47-yard line. 
Wow, what a play by the Eagles. I didn't see who made the hit, Joe. What did you see on that play? Well, he, he made a great run uh, on the quarterback keeper. He stepped up and took off, and he was running. And But when he cut back across the field, he relaxed a little bit. And because he didn't keep that ball tucked away, we were able to get in and knock it loose. And I liked what our, our defense was doing that time because they were basically flowing to the football. It looked like it was going to be a big play that was going to cause us uh, to possibly give up a lot of field position. But we hung in there and we were able to get the turnover. No timeouts remaining here in the half. Here's Bell, gonna run with it here. No, dump it off to Atkinson, he's open to the 30. Gets outside the 20, and he's where he's wrapped up, down to the 19 to get the first down. He's in the Krispy Kreme red zone, and the hot light is on, Eagle fans. Back to return the kick, Wilkins and Deontay Wright. And this will be a deep kick. Chance to return. Wilkins will catch it at the five. Let's see what he can do here. Goes towards the middle. Uh -oh. 20. Uh -oh. Gets to the 30. Uh -oh. Now he's going to the right side. 40 to the 50. 45, 40. One man to be 30. Down to the 20. Tackled. No, he got out of it. Cuts inside. Oh. Inside the five <laughs> to the four-yard line. There he goes. There's that masked man we've been looking for. Wow. First and goal, North Carolina Central. Wow, what a return by Adrian Wilkins. And that move he made at the end to run through some guys, that's, that was amazing. That's an excellent effort. Good job of blocking by the return team. And you can see the creases open up. And as he hit it, he showed you why he's one of the best returners in football. Two tight ends set. Three, two, they get it off, hand off to Clark. Clark busts in easily. Waltz is in. Touchdown. Ring that bell. 20 to 13 to score, and the Eagles really did a good job of answering the bell there after Bethune-Cookman struck back. Here's the pistol. Here's a reverse to Darian Baker. And Ty Brown sniffs it out and will sling him down back at the 49. What a play by the senior. Moved to defensive line here in his final season. Yeah, and he's got linebacker speed and can run like a DB. He, and so you're not going to beat him to the edge if he closes it out and he shows you his ability and his upside at that position. And he's getting better at it as the year progresses. That's a loss of eight, seven on the play. It'll be This has been an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network.